Oh, hey. Turns out it's... Hmm. First of April, also known as April Fool's Day. And... Well, I didn't have anything of that. Hmm. Ah, this is just a recurring problem. I didn't have anything of that. Uh, no. Foolish in mind. Hmm. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure how much of it, if that is shows up fully in the uh, video region or recording region, but hey, I should stop getting sidetracked. I figured I'd try to do something a bit different for today, namely show off a, a game which seems interesting. I've gotten a bit bit ways in it and I seem to have run into a complete dead end. And the name of the game is Final Countdown for the Commodore Amiga. Insert your own joke about a sweetie, Swedish 80s rock song here. And let's see what the story is about. We are in space. What is it about? Is it about science fiction wanting to call Earth Terra? It just seems weird. Oh look, it's a big rock, an asteroid, which. I'm known to be in space. Though this one has a bunch of blinking lights which are less known for being on rocks in space. Okay. Well, that was a good use for an entire disc. <clears throat> and I suppose I press a button. Space Station Turcom 1. And now... It's... Hmm... Attenzione! Unregistered object... Uh, yeah, okay, this one's on. Speed, 1000 kilometers per second, which is fast, but not that fast in astronomical terms. Yep. So, seems like there's something not right with this asteroid. So, I think I should move the screen to a bit. And then we get more reportings. Uh, yep, self-diagnostic run. Nope, it's... Looks like uh, the asteroid is sending a bunch of interference or something. Uh, sending probes. Contact, contact loss, lost, the exact same moment, an emergency emission from the asteroid. Well, it doesn't really seem like an asteroid. Findings passed on to, command and to commander. Now, object mass 76 kilometers. Uh, yeah, so Lyra Turek went and beamed herself off to the asteroid. And excuse me while I set my notes on the side here. And okay, that's it. So we play as Lyra Turek. Turek, Turek, something. This lady here who. It's a rather odd uniform, which for some reason leaves the one 
I exposed. And quite nicely animated. This is some place somewhat like possible mission. Uh, let's see, can I? Ah, okay. You can hide in, hide in these wall niches. This is a force field which you should not touch. You can press buttons. <coughs> and then I'll just stay here, wait for this robot to pass by. This back on. Now this is a mine which you can pick up. This I believe is more fuel. Yes it is. And those are robots I probably do not want to Okay. They didn't really do, do much after all. Down there is an activated mine, which I believe we do not want to touch. And here is a computer. Hello, computer, what do you have to say? Okay, we have our Amiga 900 hooked up to it. So... Alright. Here we go. Uh, mm -hmm. Right. We are lead hexos. Uh okay. Take a look at the manual. The German Z uh, key map swaps Y and Z, but apart from that, well, well, I can manage, I think. Later, uh, interference with primitive communications, though Tachyon should not really interact with such things, but hey, Tachyons are more or less theoretical at this point anyway. So we have a Tachyon. Okay, okay, these. Those last two lines are important. Control computer for the desolator is on deck one. And the monitor computer for it is on deck 3. We are on deck 1, I believe. systems around here. Well, what is going on? What is this asteroid spaceship doing? We shall learn that later. Right. Where is the... Where's 
just got. Ah, oh, oh, right, no suffix needed. Well, I think that's all. System. Ah, okay, so it's what this computer does. Controlling taking to controlling maintenance robot on level two, and the Amiga nine nine thousand gives some additional stuff. Right, control cube computer not much good. Controlling maintenance robot. Hmm. Well, and what does that one? Bah. Um. Four? Ah. Okay. And end cli end client. And the gate we disabled was this one here. We want to go over here. Oh, oh, oh. Almost ran out of fuel there. And pick up this disk, and there's... I don't really know why status went to blue there with a deed. <coughs> Actually, I'm not sure if I can do anything with that computer over there, but I do need the fuel, so... Ah. That is how you use a mine and... Okay, it took longer than I anticipated for it to... Um... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, you can pick it up if you do that before it arms. Okay, let's see what this computer is all about. Ah, no, ah, uh, Oh, this one. Okay. Take money to computer. Uh. Uh, mm. Okay. Uh. Right. Now, that file with the period at the front of it means it's password protected. And if you try messing around with those things and not use the correct password, alarm will sound and it will be bad times for everybody. Ah! Message for me! Ah, beamed energy card, ah, beamed energy cartridges and. And improvised mines here. Yeah. Now. Uh, <coughs> now mines blow up when something above forty-two kilograms flies over them, which is important since we'll find some files about these different robots. Some of them are under forty-two kilograms. <coughs> Did we have and that message is gone? Oop, not this. Uh, Gaurins, which are a sort of a between decks transporters. And. What's that one thing? Ah, this is a map. Those red lines. 
well obviously not the ones surrounding the whole thing but the red line horizontal red lines mark patrol routes for robots uh, the straight vertical lines are elevators mm, well I will we'll see about the stuff now I also have a disk so Mm. Oh, and CLS clears the screen. So I think it was. Mm -hmm. Ah. Uh. Okay. Um. Excuse me for a moment while I consult the. Manual. Hmm. Actually, I might as well post the recording here. Actually, I might as well end the first video here. We shall be back. <laughs>